Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am on a roll with my uh, Fashion Bazaar, my two journals that I'm making. So I thought I, I better turn on the camera. I'm just gonna get so far ahead without showing you guys what I'm doing. So here I am doing a second video today. And I wanna say hi and hugs to Carol, Jill, Marilyn, and Cynthia. Thanks so much for watching. And thanks for your nice comments. Okay, so I'll show you show you what I've done, where I'm at, I guess, with this. Um, so last time we made these two sacks, I got them all glued on, and they're all ready to go in the journals. So I love both of them. They came out great, and I love the padded hearts. I mean, anything you make with those is going to turn out just beautiful. So, um, and those I got on Etsy, Padded Hearts Company CO. For, so it's Padded Hearts CO, I believe. Uh, I'll, I'll try and remember to put her in the description box. These are the gate pockets. I, I got holes punched and I put little bows in them to kind of hold them closed or whatever. Stitched around, they're all ready to go on as well. So let's see. So we've got these side pockets that we did the other day. We've got these, we've got this. Oh, and then I did the, um, I did the envelopes that were, those are just uh, where I stamped off my stamps. And I'm gonna put those in as pockets. So one, two, three, four, we have at the moment pocket wise. And um, we're gonna make some flips too but I was gonna show you what I pulled out of my ephemera folder too, or my ephemera basket. I have these couple I think will go nicely. Um, these were Lulu's digitals, but I don't think Jen will mind if I have a little, little extra something in there. So I have those corner ones, and then I have these two. Um, I'm not sure whose digitals they are, but anyway, um, they were just collaged pockets. It might be Lulu's. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But I thought I would put a few of those in there. Um, I have these, and I'm thinking I got them from Carol Lane, but Carol, you tell me if not. Um, and they've got little uh, papers in them. They're just adorable. And this one would go with one, the lace one. This one would go with the purple one really well. So I thought those could be maybe tucks. Just glue them on two sides and pop them in there. So I have those. I have these little envelopes that I just did, I don't know, a while ago. They're just little tiny envelopes. And they could be tucks if, if, if we need them. Then I have these two. These would need to be definitely um, decorated up because it came out of a book called Cruel and Unusual, and I don't want that. So I don't know if I'll use those or not, but I pulled them out. But then I was getting ready to make these um, Rita Donnelly flips, and I thought, oh, I just need to I need to turn on the camera. And, and I've got this whole big old bucket of ephemera so we're just gonna we're just gonna start on these journals oh and I sewed in I sewed in the signatures so they're all sewn in the other thing I did is in the middle I put one of the envelopes but it can be journaled on and um Jen had a, a letter seal on there and I just I just uh went over the top and put a real one in there so this one has the kind of um, turquoise one and then this one has has gold so yeah I was pretty sure I was gluing that in let's see how we do getting that off of there yep okay we're good we're good yep I I thought I was gluing that in Oh dear. Okay. So, um, I was doing these Rita Donnelly flips and I'm, I'm decorating them in the Yvonne Preston style. 
So I'm putting a doily on. I'm putting some of this little um, shiny yarn. Uh, what do you call it? You know, hairy yarn. What is it called? <laughs> I can't think of it. And eyelash trim. There it is. Eyelash trim. And then I have these two butterflies that I stamped on. So I'm going to get those inked. Let's see here. I've got myself all kind of in a corner here. I'm going to throw these up there. They aren't making me very happy with the what they've got on them. I need to, well, what I could do is collage over the top, couldn't I? Could do that, but so I'm just going to get those a little bit distressed and those are going to go on the flips. And yeah, so we're kind of making progress on this and I just, I had to do it. So um, I said in my last video, because like I say, I'm doing them one after the other here. Um, I had to go out and help Mike cut down the ornamental grasses. That's what we did today, the ornamental grasses and got those all cut. So that was great. Jimmy Joe was about as much help as you could imagine. Get his nose right down there. And Mike's like, I'm going to end up cutting off your nose, Jimmy. Get back. <laughs> oh, he tries. What can we say? He tries. Um, but yeah, we had him. We had him on a rope tied to one of our pine trees just to kind of try and keep him out of the way. It was marginally successful, shall we say. Okay, so there's that one. So one needs to go that way and one, it doesn't matter. They can both go the same way. No, they can go opposite ways because I have those I was going to put on the, okay. Talking it through, peeps, talking it through. So, so yeah, I got all that stuff after we did our um, grasses. Then we came in, no, we went to the dump. We took them to the dump. Because you don't have to see anyone to do that, you know. You just dump them off. Um, and then we had, oh, then I called my friend Michelle that makes the padded hearts. Because she had called me. And so then I called her back. And then um, we had lunch. And I came down here. I said to Mike, I have some things to get done for filming tomorrow. And I think I'm going to use Fabri-Tac on this. And uh, he said, okay. And well, yeah, you go down. He said, I don't know. I think Jimmy and I will go for a walk. And he said, I might take a nap. <laughs> like, he didn't sleep very well last night. So I said, oh, yeah, that sounds good. So um, anyway, I came down and started started working away. And then I was just like, Um, I was just, I was just thinking to myself, sorry guys. Yeah, I want to put that down there because I want it to still open. Um, and I'm just going to put this along here. Oh, I want some, you know what else I want is some diamonds. So I'll have to see how far away those are. I'm just going to put that on like that so that the wings kind of flip up a little bit and then I'm going to put diamonds down its body once I go find some I don't oh I might have some in my little bin up there I think I do so that's good um yeah so anyway it's been a day of getting a few things done anyway and so Mike was I think they already went for their walk I think I heard him I heard him come back so I think that's happened already. <laughs> the walk has happened. So yeah, so kind of a good day. Um, because we have about well, we have three grasses, ornamental grasses on our one corner. We have 
ooh, how many? I think we have three groupings of three that go across the front of our house. And then we have five in the back. So, so you know, there's, there's quite a bit to... Now I can go back to our glitter glue, I think. Let me reach up here. Yep, look at here. Just what I want. I think I just want maybe three. That's handy that I have that right up there. Didn't even know it, huh? So I'll put four on one and three on the other. If three looks okay. It's fine. It's just fine. So then we have these little flips that we can tuck things into. There's so much ephemera, you know, that I want to be able to use it. Okay, so that's what those look like. And aren't they fun? That's that's totally inspired by Yvonne Preston. She uh, she does the um, eyelash trim and little butterflies like that a lot. Anyway, okay, so those can sit and dry. Let's start looking in our books for where we want to put stuff. Let's do that. Okay, I'm going to set those aside to dry. And get all the eyelash trim off the mat here. Sorry about that. It gets so full of electricity that it just sticks everywhere. <laughs> it's dry here in Montana. What can we say? I do think while we're working on this book, I'm going to take off this little charm that's on the it's on the front here. I'm just going to set it aside just so it's not flopping around too much, you know. Okay, somebody asked me when you put when there's lace dangling down, how to keep it from squashing when you put a book on the shelf. Well, if you put the book on the shelf like this, you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> but if you put it like this, I just fold it under like that. That's what I do. So I don't know if that helps anybody. But that might be totally, totally uh, just not important. Oh, and we have these pockets too, these lace pockets as well. We can't forget those. Oh, and then we have these tucks. Yeah, maybe we have enough. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I wanted to find a spot for my, first of all, for my um, fabric flips. And so this one is for this one. This one is for that one. So I'll just lay that on that one. So what I want to do is just find a page that is nice with it. That's nice. Yeah, I do like that because this has the the blue and the pink. So just to make sure we're not missing something. So nice too. Okay, I think I'm going to put it here. Just going to put it right there. I guess I need to quit putting my fabric tack away, huh? Um just gonna run a bead along the top of this yeah I love this kit Jen you did a great job on this kit I think okay I'm going over the hole so I'm gonna have to be careful Dwight that off a little bit. Sorry guys, I've got a I've got a package of wet wipes that the um 
the wet wipes don't want to come out one at a time. You know, they want to come out six at a time. So I was just over there fighting with it <laughs> for a second. Okay, well, that's happy. So I'm thinking maybe on the other side of that here, is that where we want to put our belly band? Because usually I do them opposite. So, does this one have pink or blue? Let's just see. It's got a lot more purple in this one. There's some pink, there's some blue. Like if we were to do the same page, the blue would go with this one better, wouldn't it? Okay, I'm just going to stick that right in there. I guess while we're at it and while that other's drying, we could find a spot for the... See, I was wondering, but I have the sack there. Um... just go here couldn't I okay let's put that in there just to think about so then if we place those a little bit too we can just buzz right through want that this way or this way I think I'll, I think I'll go this way okay and my book weight Right here. It's called a book weight. Have it in my favorite things on my Etsy. So if you're interested, I always get questions about that guy too. Okay. Let's put this on. My husband's thumping around upstairs. So obviously not napping at the moment. I kind of envy him being able to nap. I just, I really can't. And then if I do, I can't sleep at night. So there you go. Um, but the one time I can nap, I should take that back, is in the summertime, in the afternoon, I'll take my book out to my hammock, and yeah, about two seconds and I'm gone. <laughs> okay, so my thought with these was that I would do one of these and one of these in each book. So, let's see here. So I think I'll do these in the purple. So I'll throw those over there. I'll do these in this one. Now we just have to decide where we want to put them. nice to um, break up the blue, isn't it? Yeah, I like that. Then on the other side, do I really want... I don't know, maybe that's fine. Okay, I'm gonna put those in. We're just going for it, peeps. We're gonna get these, we can get these journals done. It is kind of, I mean, yeah, it's like double the work doing two at once, but at the same time, you know, it's kind of easy to just, if you're making one, just make two 
and then you know there straightish got to decide where I'm going to put the um, the big sack too I don't know yep on this one I'll just pop it right there kind of nice to just go opposite pages and then that's easy you're not humming and hawing about or I'm not humming and hawing about where to put them at all. Hi, honey. I'm doing a little. Oh, it's mail delivery. <laughs> he goes, shush, like I'm not going to talk to you guys while he's down here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> he's been, he, he gets the mail in his gloves. <laughs> and then he brings it down here and uh, lays it on the corner on the floor and then it sits there for 48 hours and then I open it. There we go. Okay, so then maybe I better figure out this sack situation. Now I'm thinking I want the white one in the purple one and this one in this one. This one I'm thinking, oh, right here. Oh, but there's a sack right there. That's no good. Let's go on the other side. Ladies coats, ladies coats. Okay, this isn't as good a page. So we're gonna put that on there. Now, the question becomes, do I want to be able to slide something in there? And I think I do. So I'm just gonna put this on like a pocket. So we might have sort of stamped this side for no reason, but you know, when I made it, I didn't know what I was going to use it for. So there you go. I'm getting glue on my on my shirt, which is why I always shove my sleeves up, right? Okay. Okay. Cute. And that covers up. That covers up the um, page that was kind of faded and didn't look too good. Okay, and so we have a pocket there and a pocket there. Okay, uh, it looks like it came apart a little bit in the coffee dyeing process, so I'm just gonna glue that back down. Okay, that makes me happy because I kind of needed to know where that was gonna be because that was, oh, and then the other thing that might be important to find is this because we need an edge page for that so the purple one goes with the purple this one goes with this Ooh, let's go right there huh yeah oh my gosh this oh this one's coming together I'm excited about it isn't that fun? You know, you make all this stuff and then it's like, once you put it together, it's like, okay, taking on a life of its own. Or coming to life, I guess is what you would say more so. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's happy that in there and then I'm wondering on the other side so that would be here I'm wondering about putting the gate pocket right here I think if I just glue here, 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 then we can go down the back with something. Okay, let's do that. And by going 
one side than the other. What I like about that is it balances your a number of pockets and stuff you have in your in your first and second part of your signature. Okay. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. So now what? So now we, oh, that's not one to stick very much. Hold that down for a second while we look. Okay, we have those, we have those. Okay, we have these two pockets. So I wanna put one in each. This one has some purple, so that makes that easy. This one has some purple, that makes that easy. Okay, we'll do these two. So what I wanna do is kinda of look through and see where stuff is so I can, Okay, that's the, the fabric flip. And we've got a pocket. And we've got a pocket. So it might not be bad to have it there. doesn't matter because I'm going to go to the other side, right? So I could go there or I could go here. I don't feel like these colors go right there. Oh, but maybe I'll throw those back up there and think about, because I have these yet. Um, I was kind of thinking of this one for the purple one. This one here. That's not too bad, is it? And this one on the side. Okay. Alrighty then. Gosh, we're gonna have we're gonna have all the pockets in. there might be a piece of ephemera that uh, there weren't any pockets per se in the kit but you know you can always use a big tag as a um, tuck spot or something like that if one wanted to okay and these um, once again the flap is down in that card you know you know what I'm saying like that So that keeps it tucked. And then this will be a pocket behind. Okay, and then there you are. I'm not dearly loving that. And it's because this is so much pinker than this. So I'm going to look over here. I think I like that better. So then we'll assess where we're at and see, do we need more and think about those other pockets and where they might maybe could go. I put this up a little bit higher than maybe I normally would, but just so that the lace isn't hanging down past the lace of the cover, you know? Okay, so we did that. Okay. Um, okay, so now back here we've got, we could use something there. I mean, that's not bad there. But other than that, we have one, two, three, four, five things on that side, 
And one, two, three, four things on this page. The beginning. Let's let's put okay, I wanted that one over there. Let's put this one here. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. And it's not clashing with anything else. And I was thinking I kind of wanted to do um, a this book belongs to type of tag. So maybe we'll put that there. Okay, so that'll go in there. I'm going to check the time while I'm holding that. Oh, good. We're only at a half hour. Awesome. Okay, and then at the back, ooh, that's kind of pretty across from that, isn't it? I think I'm going to put that on as a tuck, even though I'm giving up the back. But, yeah, just do it, Gail. I don't know how these people get such sharp, crisp, clear. This is I, this is some of mine, but compared to you know how crisp this is, I, I just don't get how they do it. But it's a good thing they sell it. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Okay, and then I have I have one of these that could be a tuck as well. Just a little corner tuck. Kind of like that right there. Okay. I'm doing it. And then I'm going to put do the same thing with the other book because... Um, then I can make good decisions about where I'm putting the ephemera that we've made. Because I think that is plenty of stuff. Yeah, it's getting nice and round. Once we start filling it full of, filling the pockets full, it'll get nice and round. Okay. Love it. Love it so far. Awesome. Okay, so now we have this that we don't even have to make decisions of which journal it's going in. Um, I'm going to put my glue book on top of that. Squash it down a little bit. <laughs> Let it know it needs to settle in. Okay, so we had our um, we had our fabric flip and our belly band at the ready in their spots, didn't we? So put that out of the way and we're just going to put that right there. Okay. Little fabric tack on the flip. And then, you know, when we start putting things in pockets and stuff, that's when we can use some of the um, the gorgeous ephemera included in the kit. Plus, you know, decide do we need um, you know, more journaling cards or whatever too. Yeah, that's going to go that way. It's a little curly from, I think this was one of the collage snippet roll things that I did that, um, I did the front and then I didn't do the back until later and so it curled a little bit but it's going to be fine once it's glued down I do believe so I think what I'll do next is find a spot for the sack because um that one you know oh I, and I if there's a side of that old stairs catalog 
that isn't as good as another side. Women's jammies on that side. Let's see what's on this side. Yeah, I think I might just put that over this. Yep, that's what I'm gonna go and do. And I'm gonna do it on the three sides too. Cause I'm thinking I might do big um, index cards with lace on the edge. Cause this is a rather, rather large space to do, so. Okay. Love it, love it. I think I have to glue this a little bit. Comes and the the seam comes a bit undone with the getting it wet to coffee dye it, you know. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. Okay, let's see. I have this and this, this and this. I had those at the beginning. Okay, this and this and this all on its own, I guess. <laughs> okay. Alrighty, so I did kind of like this one here. What I might do is put a little piece of ephemera on there too. Cause once we start digging through, you know. Yeah, that'll be good. Okay. Gosh, it's been such a good day today and I've just I just had a really nice day I hope you guys have had too. okay that's fun and then that lace is gonna hang out the bottom love it I'm gonna put that there um, yeah I just I've had a really happy day today just have going outside and getting that done. I know that was something my husband really wanted to get done and I could be helpful even if it was just keeping the dog occupied. <laughs> no, I'm the hauler. He cuts down the grass as I haul him to the... We have an old van and we put down a tarp and that's kind of our our garbage vehicle. Kind of neat there, doesn't it? It's kind of a lot all going on at on the same page, but maybe I would want to put it there. I do like that. I need to clip that just a tiny bit, I think. No biggie, but I think I'm gonna put that there. And this one on the other side, I think that'll go really nicely. All right. I am loving these journals. Oh, and you know, it's like I say to my talented digital friends, you know, it's, it's their amazing designs that just, they get you going. They kind of, you know, like I, I knew I wanted these to be kind of frilly and, um, you know, a lot of lace and, and, you know, the sparkles and stuff. It just, it does, it just gets you going in the right direction when you've got a gorgeous digital to work with. Okay. 
Ooh-wee, that just barely fits, but it does. It does. It fits. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, I bet you guys feel the same that, that uh, work with digitals. And, you know, I mean, the same is true of other paper. You know, I feel the same about blue fern. You know, I, I see the paper and it's like, okay, that's, yep, I know what I want to do with that. So, okay. Okay, so we got those down. And so let's go a little more to the middle. I think this would be fun here. And that other one would probably be fun on that side too. I'm a thinking. Yep. All right. This one's going a lot quicker, isn't it? <laughs> Don't, you know, I, I already made decisions on the other one, so I can just pop these things in on this one, which kind of, I guess, what would you say? Efficiency wise is a good argument for doing more than one journal at a time. I just did more than one at a time because there was plenty of um, of stuff to work with in Jen's kit for two journals. And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to do two. So, Jen, you're getting two for the price of one. <laughs> or I'm getting two for the price of one. However you want to look at it. <laughs> okay. And what does that leave us with? Just the one little pocket. Okay. As I recall this one had a little trouble sticking, so I'll hold it for a second. Um, so we have these two little tucks, and then we have this pocket. So... where I want this. New, new, new. It's kind of too big for the digital, to use it on the digital thing and have to use it on one of the bigger papers, I guess. Maybe that is... Hmm. Back here. Oh, yeah. Let's see, I can go here. I'm going to hang over slightly. That's okay, though. I don't care. Okay. We're going to do it. there. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And then where do we want our little tuckages? One of these could be nice right there. Look at that with that little, yeah. That's where that's going. See how crisp that is? It's just beautiful. Jeez. Okay. That is going to go there. I don't know if I can go the other side with this one or not. We'll see. Gosh, my hands are dry. Scrubbing them all the time. That's why. Um, 
that's the page. That's the same page. Okay. So let's see where we would like to put that little guy. here. Yep. Alrighty then. Sorry if my husband's plumping is as loud to you as it is to me. <laughs> clunk, clunk, clunk. He wears Crocs around the house and they are clunky. Okay, we have 15 minutes. So what I think I might like to look at is, okay, so here's our thing of ephemera and it's all journal cards and tags and stuff for the pockets. Except I do have these that I was thinking about. I was thinking about hooking in somewhere in the journal, but I don't know. If there's not a spot for them, that's okay too. Okay, but what I was going to say is I think I'm going to look at the ephemera and see if perhaps I can kind of do something here with Jen's digitals so that here's some, here's some things. That's pretty. That's too big, and this is too big, I think. But maybe I'll, I don't know. I don't know what I'll do with those. Um, I'm thinking this could be a good flip. Just attach it and, or attach it and flip. I don't know. Oh, and then I wanted to do the perfume bottles in here, too. Well, I think that is pretty good for there. And what if I put a little, some sort of fabric kind of behind it, um, like... Snip this off of the, off of my little yeah, like something like that. Yeah, I think I like that. So we got the I don't know what would you call it, kind of the basis of decorating done, and. Um, so now it's just going to be adding the fluff, isn't it? So either that'll be tomorrow's video, or if I keep going, I might just finish them. You might see them when they're ready to be listed. I don't know. I feel a little bit better about that, so I'm not using someone else's digitals in in my Jen book here. She won't care, but if it's a design team, I try to use just theirs. Yep. Yeah, that's nice with the stuff under it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, feeling better about that one. So let's just leave that open over here and see the other one. I mean, I do think in some ways it's, yeah, that one's kind of already done, isn't it? But maybe there's something...
let's put that right there. Um, anyway, what I was going to say is it's nice to show how, I think, how various people's digitals can work together, too. I think that there's some benefit in that, too. Come on, come out. We must not have put on the lid quick enough. Just needed some encouragement. We all need a little encouragement once in a while. <laughs> Yeah, so this little postage stamp. Um, this stamp is from Carabella Stamps, and then this little this little thing I glued on from Jen's ephemera. So, okay, so that makes me happy. I'm happy about those two things. I want to look. That's my next thing because I would like. Uh, this book belongs to or the story begins or something in in this first pocket so I wanted to see if perhaps Jen's um, one of Jen's tags or with any luck two of them have a room for a stamp oh, they both do these two do okay so Okay. This is just fun foam to stamp on. Because somebody, somebody let me know that you shouldn't be stamping on hard surfaces. So now I try and do it this way. Okay, that's good. And I think I might stamp this down below. Decent, not perfect. And I think I'm going to do the story begins right there, too. And that will be for the other one. Good. All right. That's fun. Okay, so I need to ink these and um, yeah, I'm just going to come a bit and use this, it's a little juicier.
So I will either be back in the next video with popping things in pockets or I just may keep going on this depending on what time it is and see these when they're ready to rock into my Etsy. Okay, I would like some lace at the top or something. I have this. I have some of this too that was just cut off from something. I think that would be that would be cute on that one. And I am just going to use my Timmy here. Use my Timmy Holtz tiny attacher. Give that a little that and maybe we'll just use a little white up above on that other one. Yep. And there's our tags for our front pockets. Okay, I think I'm going this one here. Oh, it could go in here too, couldn't it? But I had it in my brain to go here. So I'm going to do that. And that can have something else in that pocket too. But I love that. That looks good. And this guy goes in to this one. Yes. Okay, we have a beginning. So thanks so much for helping me get all the pockets in and the, all the all the page decorations. Not that we're necessarily done. We don't have to be. <laughs> Nobody said we had to be. So we'll get all of this stuff in and then we'll we'll go from there. But um I might I might need to make some more stuff and if so we'll just do that together or something. So thank you so much everybody for hanging out with me and um getting that done. Stay safe and well and have a grateful day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.